I was deeply shocked to hear that uh, the governor of Meru's uh, had his residence attacked in the night. And uh, well, the most they stole was a battery, a car battery. Um, it, it's, it's weird. It's weird and we ask investigators to get into detail and to, to, to make the country know exactly what happened. Because it's, it looks like it was an inside job. Or if it was not an inside job, then there's reckless security around the governor. That there's no CCTV in his house. That there, there is no uh, uh, quick response alarm system that uh, would be responded to by that party security like G4S or KK security. That also there are no dogs in his camp, in, in, in his house. And worse, that there are no policemen guarding his house at night with guns. Does this mean that the life of the governor of Meru County is at danger? If he does not have this level layer of security, what should be done to make sure that his life is secured? How about these were terrorists who came to attack his house? How about that these were armed men that came to his house and wanted to take his life away? We do not want to go to a by-election in Meru County at this point. We ask everybody responsible for the governor's security to be responsible and whoever failed to do their duty in this particular instance should be prosecuted. I expect to see people fired and I expect to see people arrayed in court to answer questions on how the governor's house was attacked. But also I challenge the people managing a, 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 a county protocol. How comes they have never seen it necessary to, ins to, to, to install CCTV camera in the governor's residence? You know, as an aspirant, as an, as an aspiring governor, I'm scared to work with such people when I'm the governor who cannot even take care of my house, leave alone the affairs of the county.